Hey guys, Kirp here. Um, I'm doing a video. I actually, I'm was very disappointed. I looked on um, just one second, but I, I looked on um, online on YouTube for a tutorial how to do this, and I couldn't find it. Now you might be wondering what I'm gonna be doing, and that would be a pretty good idea to tell you guys. Um, we are going to be decrypting iPhone firmware updates. Now, why would you need to do this? Um, this is actually very helpful for few things. If you want to modify the US, or the OS before you install it on your iPhone, there are a few extra steps if you want to do that. Um, also, for um, beta iPhone firmwares, if you don't have your iPhone already um, registered with the developer, you can actually modify the firmware so it doesn't check if you're registered with the developer, and then it will actually um, it'll allow you to install it. I actually, um, I have, you know, I, I don't even know why I was trying to do this. But I figured it out. There were no videos on how to do it on the Mac, so it's probably the one of the first videos. It's um the method's been here for a while. But let's get to it. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and take the firmware from our from our um main directory. So Kieran, that's my username. So library, um it's gonna be it. the firmwares that you downloaded are library, iTunes iPad software updates. If you have the iPhone or iPod Touch, it will say that instead of iPad. And here we have iPhone or iPad OS 4.3. So let's go ahead and copy this to our desktop. Paste item. Um. Okay. Um. That's pretty quick to um finish. Okay. Now we're gonna do um. Now we're going to extract this for this um this so let's go ahead and select this like this and then um press enter or return so that we can edit the name of what it is and then double click on the file extension and type zip or zip and then press return again now press use zip and now you have a zip folder so now let's go ahead and unzip it I'll pause the video so that it's a little bit shorter Okay, we're back. Um, here you go. There's our folder. It just created a folder for us. Um, now if we go into here, you get the entire firmware thing. So you can go and dive into all this stuff. Um, bunch of stuff, bunch of images, all this stuff. But the main three disk images are right here. So, and sorry about that. I just wanted to highlight all three of them. Now, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to actually go into right over here. So... Again, press this button so that we can see which one is the main one. Because there's three of them. But as you can see, two of them are really small files. So you want to get the bigger one of those. Okay. So now we're going to have to go ahead and download a program called VFDcrypt. So I actually don't have a link for this. I will have a link for it in the description. Um, I am not going to look that up right now, actually. But I um, have to have a program called VFDcrypt. I actually have it, um, alright, vfdcrypt, right there, I have it right here, um, it's just going to be a zip folder, you open it up, and this is the folder that you're going to have, it's a bunch of terminal commands, and little executive thing, or executable things, okay, so, have that window open right there, you're also going to need to have terminal open, so we're going to go into finder, a new window, applications, Wait for that, go to the bottom of the applications folder. Why do I have this in here? Um, go to the bottom, go to utilities, and then you're going to see terminal right there, just in case you didn't know how to get to terminal. I probably should put that in my doc because I use this all the time. Um, so now we can go ahead and quit this. Now you see it logs you in there. Now, what you're going to have to do is you need keys to decrypt these things. So, you're going to have to go on Twitter, and Twitter is the best place to look for this. Just type in like iPad 4.3 key on Twitter. Just search for that. You'll get a link which has this thing. I'll post this key in the description if you want. Now, first thing you need to do is it says VF Decrypt. So, we're going to have to drag in VF Decrypt right into the terminal window. Right there. Okay, now it says dash i, 
and then we're going to do a space, and then the DMD that you want to um, encrypt, or de decrypt. So then we drag that in. Then we're going to do um, dash O space, and then type decrypted um, underscore fs dot DM DMG, and then dash K, and then the key. So right here. So there we got our main thing right there. Now, when you this is basically what it says right here is where it says this file. That's where you're gonna be looking for at the end. It's going to be right in your main directory. So sorry about that, but um, right here in Kieran, it's gonna be right there. Um, so let's go ahead and press enter. So you can see the decrypted.fs or underscore fs is building right there. And go ahead and pause the video and I'll come back around it's done. Okay, um it's back. It took a long time, but um it actually it finally worked with a bunch of errors, but I think it worked because when you go ahead and open it, it says opening. So let's let it open up. And right there, you get your your um Thing. So now you can go ahead and browse through whatever you want, edit any um ed edit anything, and then you can go ahead and repackage it up, and you get your um you get to edit it. So thanks guys for watching. Um again, if you guys um if you guys like my videos, please go ahead and do subscribe. Okay, thanks. Peace.